Hi, my name is Nadia. I am stitching instructor. I am making videos for the beginners and for those who wants to learn. Today in this video, I am going to tell you how to sew the long tiered skirt for 5 years old girl. This is my main fabric. Um, its length is 2.5 meter. Let's take the measurement first. Waistband circumference is 22 inches. You can see that. And total length is 26 inches. I am making draft as per the measurement for better understanding. Uh, total waistband circumference is 22 inches, but I am going to take 44 for shearing. After shearing, the stitches become a little tighter, which makes it shrink slightly too. Total length is 26 inches. Waistband circumference is 44. If you divide 44 by 2, that would be 22 inches. So, for 22 inches uh, is for one front side and 22 inches for the back side. Waistband width is 7 inches including the seams allowance. This skirt has a 3 tiers. You can make tiered skirt any length you want it to be. First tiered length is 40 inches and width is 8 inches including the seams allowance. A second tier uh, length is 60 inches. And width is 9 inches including the seams allowance. Third tier length is 80 inches and 10 inches is width including the seams allowance. Each of tier pieces all need to be a different width to ensure that the skirt flows onward towards the bottom. 22 waistband width for one side is uh, just because of shearing and shearing need the extra fabric. Please note that all these tears length and width is for front side skirt. Back side skirt tears length and width would be the same. I am cutting the waistband first. For that I have folded the fabric and total length is 22 inches. And width is 7 inches including the seams allowance. Extra length of the tears will allow you to add more ruffles to the skirt. It is done. Now I am uh, separating both parts. One is for front side and front uh, for back side. First, I will hem my fabric on the top edges. It's a sub simple double folded hem. After that, I will do the shearing in that. This is the front side tear skirt and this is the back side tear skirt. For shearing, I will draw some guidelines on the fabric 
I am drawing six guidelines, each space one inches from Shearing each other. Shearing creates stretchy fabric by using elastic thread and bobbin. If you want to know about shearing and how to do it, you can watch my video. Link is mentioned in description. This is the elastic thread and I am binding elastic thread onto my bobbin. Once your bobbin is full, cut the elastic thread. Then place bobbin inside the bobbin case the exact same way that you would load your regular bobbins. I am sewing a straight line on the right side of my fabric like this. This is what it looked like after shearing. They are all done. I knit after doing that. It looks a little bit more nicer. This is the front skirt waistband and I have prepared the back skirt waistband as well. You can see that. Both are ready. This is the first year of my skirt. I will make a ruffle in that. I sewed it. After that, I am pinning waistband bottom edges with the first tier top edges. After pinning, I will sew them together. I sewed first year with the waistband. You can see that. This is the second tear. Now this is the time to make a ruffle in the second tear. It is done. Now pin it evenly all the way around the bottom of tier 1 edges and the top of tier 2 edges. As you see that, first and the second tier are sewed with the base fan and this is the time to sew the third tier. First make a ruffle in the third tier and then uh, sew with the bottom edges of the uh, second tier and the top edges of the third tier.
As you see, front side of my tear skirt is completed. This is the front side and I have prepared the back side of my tear skirt also. Now place the back skirt side seams on top of the front skirt side seams and ensure that they line up with right sides facing each other. So from the uh, raw edges along both side seams. During sewing, make sure front side tears and back side tears are equal and line up with each other. Tear to skirt may seem like complex sewing project but they are super simple and easy. Tear to skirts look great on kids and adults too. It is completed now. This is the front side. You can see the shearing. I have done the overlock stitch in order to prevent the fraying. Overlock stitch give the fabric extra finishing seams. Now flip over the skirt and see the front side. Sharing in the waistband on the front side. Looks so beautiful. First year, second year, and third year. It is looking so beautiful, attractive and elegant. Hope you like this video. If you like, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and share this video with your friends. You can visit my Facebook page also, link is mentioned in description. Take care, bye-bye.